Right, here we go. Here's a little fix in regards to the uh, the iPhone problems when you go into Safari. Uh, it's not letting you go onto uh, the next pages and stuff, and uh, it's, it's really annoying. I've had to use Google Chrome, but uh, this is one way of getting around it. So uh, open up Safari in Settings. Uh, go all the way down to Advanced. Now switch off your JavaScript. That will be on. Switch that off. Uh, then come back out of that. Turn off your telephone as normal. Telephone. I don't think it's a telephone anymore. Uh, just hold down your button. Power off. Power back on. I won't bother because I've already done it. Uh, and you can get into Safari again now. And when you actually click a link, it actually opens the page rather than uh, having to worry about going to not opening it. Uh, very quick. Uh, fix hopefully that will sort it for you for now until the uh, they update it on the iPhone uh, on the updates but uh, just to run through that very quickly again just in case you missed it uh, so it's your Safari that's causing the problems you can't open the pages I've had to use Chrome uh, and that's annoying as well still not opening the links on on emails which is a bit of a pain but hopefully like the fix will sort that so basically just to go through it again settings and once you go into the settings, scroll down to uh, your Safari, scroll all the way down to the bottom to Advanced, and turn off that JavaScript. So it will be green, make it like it is there, there now, uh, and then turn it off. Actually turn the, the uh, phone off, turn it back on again, and you shouldn't have any problems uh, until uh, the next uh, problem that they create. But uh, hopefully they will uh, sort this one out soon. So. Yeah, I can go in there now. Search on dog. And this is the problem you would get in. You'd click on here and nothing would happen. It wouldn't open up. So now it's gone through and it's opening again. So hopefully that will help you now until they bring out the next uh, update. Thanks.